venue infrastructure. Uh, the 2015 Pacific Games Venue Infrastructure and Equipment Committee is now calling for tenders for site preparation to the Sir John Guy Stadium. Existing running track will be removed and earthworks to commence for the construction site of a new track and grandstand seating. The most important thing is, is that you're going to have now, once with the expansion of the actual stadium, you're able to play soccer and rugby in there on a proper um, certified field. At the moment it's too short for a, a rugby field, but now it will, it, will be, it will be expanded and made bigger, so you'll be able to have rugby uh, or other important games like that as well played at the stadium. Up to 200 million kina is being pumped into the refurbishment of the stadium, including the indoor works, with work to begin with the outdoor facilities, and work is expected to be completed by November 2014. Concerns of existing and alternative venues and training facilities were raised, as the Sejong Guy Stadium will be closed to the public as of the 1st of April. The plan of the Venues Committee effectively is that while we're refurbishing a lot of the official venues for the games, there are 10 schools that we have identified that we're engaging for some of their sporting facilities to be available for our athletes. The opening ceremony of the 2015 Pacific Games will be held at the Sir John Guy Stadium on the 4th of July when PNG plays host to the Pacific's most prestigious sporting event.